Good morning uh, everyone, you're on Checker Rudy's channel and if you stay tuned you're going to see his daily life and his life on the road and yep that's right I'm his son and I hope you enjoy. Eastern time which is one o'clock my time so yeah so we uh, slept right there in the yard and walked in there on one o'clock got me unloaded got ourselves a reload already gonna go to uh, Lebanon Indiana oh, got a phone call so I'll be right back here we go guys it says thank you for visiting Ohio, Ohio, yeah, so we are exiting Ohio, going into Indiana right now, or very soon here, and then uh, right across the state line, there is a uh, petrol truck stop up here. RJ, we will do that. And we're gonna go in here and we will go grab ourselves a bite to eat. I'm getting hungry. I haven't had anything to eat and it's already like uh, 2.41 uh, in the afternoon. So it's time to go have me a bite to eat, I think. Oh yeah. So let's go do that. State border ahead. State border ahead. Crossing border. Entering right. Indiana. <laughs> it looks like this truck stop is in Indiana but supposedly it's it's in Ohio I don't know oh well, I guess it should be maybe I don't know in a quarter mile GPS is the line should be right here so that truck stop should be in Ohio in Ohio 150 feet crossing border between Ohio in 900 feet turn left on connecting road and then approaching destination on the left side in 150 feet we're ready. Here we are. Well, they even got a truck truck wash in there. I, would, I wouldn't mind washing my truck, but it's kind of useless right now. It's raining. Oh, looks like they used to charge in here to uh, to park in here. I guess. I guess they made it free you now. Welcome to Ohio. Free parking to our value customers. Please. Ten speed limit. Okay. Well, we will do that. I don't know if I've ever been at this truck stop before. I don't recall ever being at this truck stop, but we'll see if we find ourselves an open spot up here and we'll back her in. Go grab yourself a good bite to eat. As my wife usually says, I love the chicken Alfredo, and I do. Northside doing knows that too, so one reason I like to stop at Petro they have that so not that many truck stops have it anymore so anyways we'll go and uh, do this stuff here back her in and have a bite to eat now we'll be back all right here we go we just had ourselves a very very good meal oh we got about 100 miles to go and we'll be in uh, Lebanon Indiana We'll uh, pick up our load and start heading towards uh, Toronto again, <laughs> Mississauga, to our terminal. Yeah, that's where I'm to deliver this load, so, so we'll do that, that's for sure. It's been uh, raining on and off here, drizzling, almost since 
since the time I left. It's been drizzling. But other than that, it's a gorgeous day. Oh yeah. Alrighty guys, we just switched trailers up here in Lebanon, Indiana. 600 feet. Turn left oh, on. Oh yeah. Oh, we are good to go. Now we're going to put the hammer down and see how far we can make her tonight yet towards uh, Ontario. I don't know how far I can make her, but we'll see. really nice place to pick up you know because uh, if you can just basically pick up and don't have a whole lot of hours there's a flying J just right here and or if you feel like it's a heavy load you can actually scale it right here so you're usually in good shape you know the truck stop is generally pretty full but I 65 south US 52 east I'm not gonna go in here right now because uh, I'm only showing 19,000 pounds, so I feel pretty comfortable that it's uh, not 19,000 pounds on one axle because I looked in the trailer and it looks pretty good. It's looking pretty good and it's all the way to the back, it's uh, pallets on there, so I know for sure it can't be all in the back or all in the front, right? So. <laughs> Come on, four-wheeler. You just had to get ahead of me, right? Yeah. Now we're going to have to go back into Indianapolis and hope that uh, traffic ain't going to be too bad. I mean, when I came through, it was pretty good too, so not too shabby at least. But let's put the hammer down and get down the road somewhere alrighty guys we are done for today already for for a bit of a while already I've been done of course now my arm has to itch but uh, I had something interesting happening today a truck was passing me here on the interstate and I am on I-69 and uh, I saw something a little bit weird on his truck on the rear axle on the passenger side something was kind of hanging a little low so I took another close look and uh, I realized that his uh, brake pot was hanging below normal it you could see it was broken off or at least one bolt was broken that was for sure because I know the brake pods are screwed on with two bolts and I know if one breaks the actual brake pod falls down and it will almost touch the ground and this one was like two inches from hitting the ground you know and uh, so I sped up to uh, get up to his cab to let him know and uh, he didn't have a CB radio so uh, he pulled over and I figured well I'll pull behind him and I'll let him know what's going on, right? At least that way he knows. That way I'm not just saying something is wrong and he doesn't know what's wrong, right? So I pull behind him. I get out. We walk up. He says, what's wrong? He, I said, well, you know, that brake pot over there on your passenger side don't look too good. You know, I said, that's hanging almost on the floor. And he looks at it and he... Uh, oh thank you thank you you know and uh, he gets back to the driver's side starts walking towards the truck and uh, just looks at it a little bit gets back in the cab and drives off he doesn't even try to tie up that uh, brake pod that it's not going to touch the ground or not I mean, he just gets back in the truck takes off <laughs> and I'm like okay so I, you know, I get behind, uh, I drive, you know, and he's just cruising along at 70 mile an hour. Don't even seem to care, don't even seem to bother him. Huh? 
that's the way it goes sometimes out here and I even told him I said tomorrow is DOT blitz and uh, didn't even seem to phase him but that's the way it is with some people I guess they don't seem to care I I do care I would have at least checked it out real good and uh, whatever you know tried to tie, so tie it up a little bit so it wouldn't be hanging so low or all of a sudden I wouldn't lose, lose it all completely you know but not him he didn't care enough of that anyways so uh, we're finished we're working on videos for you guys yeah had me a nice shower here uh, a little while ago and uh, they wanted 12 dollars at this place just for a shower you know but I said oh I gotta have a shower tomorrow as DOT blitz and I wanna look half decent and smell half decent now we're done for today just gotta finish this video together and put in the, putting this video together and then I'll be I'll be going to bed here pretty soon so uh, hey I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog though I know it's yesterday and today videos are kind of different a little bit but yeah well that's the way it goes sometimes Sometimes they're more interesting than others, but uh, hey, we do our best anyways, so we will uh, continue on the show tomorrow, so have a good night, good day, whatever it is for you, and we hope to see you again tomorrow. Thanks for watching.